my dream bees welcome back to a new yoga video today we're gonna go into part three of our digestive detox series we're gonna focus on that feeling in your belly when you feel blocked heavy and stuck so this is gonna be great for symptoms like constipation bloating gas if you want to focus on weight loss this is going to be an amazing way to move the body and to get things flowing. So I hope you enjoy. Let's get ready. We're going to start standing here in the middle of our mats, taking a moment to get the body comfortable. And when you're ready, just placing both hands on either side of your stomach, connecting your fingertips, closing the eyes and just centering your energy here in your belly and starting with that deep belly breathing inhale and expanding the belly against your hands exhale slowly and just watch as it falls This natural movement, expanding and emptying. Knowing that every part of our body is alive. Start to move your hands along your stomach. Start to feel the different parts, maybe the sides, Going into the back, let's give a gentle back massage here to be kind to our muscles, to be kind to our organs. And as you shake it out, we're gonna start moving the body now. Inhale gently and exhale, falling that right arm down towards your right foot and exhale center using the opposite hand by your stomach as you fall to the left. Exhale, center. Inhale, exhale, fall. Inhale, coming through center. Exhale, left. Just creating some space in the side body. Let's place our hands behind our back, protecting our backs and opening the heart upwards. Inhale. Exhale, rounding the spine forward. Feel free to grab the insides of your thighs. We're going to continue at our own speed. Inhale, opening the shoulders. Back bend. Exhale, rounding the spine. Think of it like a cat cow standing. Inhale, opening up. Exhale. Coming back into center now, keeping the hands on the hips and just taking a gentle circle in the hips. Create a fluid motion and then prepare to place both hands behind the head. Preparing for a twist, inhale gently in center and exhale twisting from the belly button to the right. Inhale back through center and exhale, twisting the shoulders to the left. Repeating this slowly, inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Try not to move the hips or the knees, just twisting the organs in the belly. And if we wanna go a little bit faster, releasing the arms in front, and taking that twist left and right. Exhale as you twist. That way your body's a little bit more free. Things are flowing, shake it out. Now let's prepare our legs into a wide stance, grounding the feet and stretching the arms out to the sides. We're gonna open our toes, right toes over to the right and bending that right knee over the ankle. 
warrior two hold here and just listen to the energy in your body if you want to go a little bit deeper lifting the right heel off the mat and hold Now, using the arms, let's center our shoulders and lift the arms up to the sky. Breathing in. And then as we exhale, swinging those arms down onto our mat on either side of our leg and just warming up the hips in lunge. Preparing to place your back knee onto the mat and pressing the feet into the ground. Inhale, lifting both arms up to the sky. Just allow this stretch to feel good. Clasp the hands together over the head. And as you feel stable, just breathe into the entire body. Exhale into prayer, pressing the hands together. Keeping those hands pressed, let's exhale and twist towards the knee, lifting that elbow up to the sky. Keep your energy calm. And if it feels too difficult, you can always place your hand on the knee or on the either side of your mat. Inhale, coming back through center, placing both hands on either side of our leg. Stretching that front leg out and exhale as you re-bend the knee forward. We just want to warm up our joints before we stretch. Inhale, stretch, flexing the toes. Exhale, bend, lunge. When you feel things are a little bit more comfortable, stay with that leg stretched in front of you. Wiggle the toes. Stretch and point the ankle. And as we exhale, we're going to bring both arms to the opposite side, twisting behind our leg and allowing the body to fall here. Feel that you are twisting towards that foot. A gentle twist in the belly, but also in the shoulders. This can sometimes be a little bit more painful than usual, so be gentle. See if you can relax the muscles. As we come back into center, bend that front knee, preparing that back leg and lifting the knee up into our lunge. We're gonna place that back heel onto the mat and take a big inhale, lifting both arms up to the sky. This time, placing our left hand, gliding down our left leg and right arm above the head. A beautiful, peaceful warrior. There is power and energy in the legs, but there is space and freedom in the belly. As we exhale, bring your body back up into warrior two. And as we shift the toes, bringing our arms up over the head, inhale towards the sky and exhale as you bring your hands into prayer, into the heart. Closing the eyes so that we can go back in and listen. Sometimes we just need a moment to empty our thoughts. To release our stress of the day. Let's prepare for the other side. Our arms stretch to the sides, opening the left toes and bending that left knee over the ankle. Warrior two, as we look far away, along our left fingertips. Breathing steadily, creating focus 
in the mind. Lift off that left heel if you want to feel more energy in the legs, more power. See if you're challenging yourself today. Keeping the shoulders square. Let's inhale and lift both arms up to the sky and hold this pose for three, two, one. Exhale towards that left knee and coming into our lunge. Warming up the hips, moving side to side. Create some space in the hip joints. When you're ready, place that back knee down onto the mat. Pressing the feet into the ground. Inhale both arms up to the sky. Clasping the hands together so you feel the stretch. The posture is alive. You are breathing into the pose. Nothing is stagnant here. And as you exhale slowly, aligning the hands into the heart, into prayer. Inhale gently before you exhale and twist elbow towards the knee. If you have the left knee in front, twist that right elbow towards the left knee. Trying to look up towards the sky. All these twisting asanas are amazing to move parts of our bodies on the inside. Exhale back through center, placing the hands on the mat and this time stretching the front leg. Exhale as you push forward, bend and play with this movement. It should feel gentle on the knee. It can be very slow or it can be fast with a bit of momentum. Exhale, bend. Inhale, stretch. And if you're ready to hold this stretch, try to flex the toes towards the sky and walk your hands twisting towards the left side of your left foot and hold it here breathing into the pain or the tension listening to the lower back the shoulder blades and the neck Great job today. Walking the hands to either side of the foot, bending that front knee, and lifting that back knee off into our lunge. Preparing to place that back heel so we can push up. Inhale, lifting the arms, and exhale, gliding that right arm down into our peaceful warrior. This can be a wonderful pose to stretch out the hips, the belly, all the way to the top of the fingertips. Inhale to your fullest. And exhale with energy as you center your warrior two. Inhale, stretching both legs and both arms this time. And exhale into prayer. Closing the eyes. Feeling the air around you. Listening to your heart. Because everything is connected. The mind, the heart, and the belly. All of it connected. 
As you open the eyes, let's prepare to open the toes and the knees a little bit to the outsides. Inhale, hands together, stretching the arms up, and exhale into prayer, bending the knees, squat down. Inhale as we lift, creating a momentum, and exhale, try to squat and bend the knees a bit further. Inhale, lift up, exhale, bend, making sure the knees are in the same direction of the toes. And this time, lifting ourselves up and trying to bend all the way down into our yogic squat. We can push the elbows against the knees as we try to sit our sit bones as low as we can keeping the heart and chest opened. If you feel any pain or strain in the knees, come back up and just place your hands gently on your knees as you bend. If you feel comfortable here in your yogi squat, just close the eyes. And as we're ready to come down, use the hands, placing the hands behind you and coming into a seated position, stretching the legs out to the sides. Open the legs as wide as you can today. And let's start with that left arm up, stretching the left arm as if you're pulling the vertebrae upwards and exhale a gentle fall towards the right. Make sure the neck is being naturally released. And you feel the space that you are creating here. Even when we hold the pose, we let the energy flow. Coming back to center, keeping that left arm up, inhale, stretch, twisting the belly button towards that right knee. Exhale, fall forward. A gentle forward fold towards that right foot. The exhale will guide you. Will allow the muscles to go further and further. We just have to find our relaxation and sometimes that can be hard and some days it can be a little easier when you're ready use the hands to bring yourself back to your seated center preparing for the other side inhale right arm up exhale falling to the left and just holding here Just taking that time for ourselves it can be just the right thing that our digestion needs. A moment where we're not running around, overthinking. Take one last stretch here. Inhale. And exhale. Let your body fall back into place. Inhale as you lift this arm up, twisting towards that left foot this time and falling into your forward fold. Be gentle in the neck and allow each muscle one by one to release. You are able to just be here. As if nothing else is important in this very moment. Your rest is powerful. The 
let's take one more slow, deep breath. And using the hands, push yourself back up. Coming into center. Inhale and exhale. Let the arms walk forward. Staying either on the hands or on the elbows. Maybe using a pillow. And just feel this gentle moment. We're not searching for flexibility. We're not searching to push ourselves to our limit. We're just listening to our body. And we're allowing for a deeper form of relaxation to take place. Accepting where we are in this pose. Just being okay with that. If you feel good using the arms, let's push ourselves back up. Prepare to move the knees, moving the legs and bringing them closer together. We're going to bend the knees here and look for a nice hug, bringing the thighs close in towards the chest. Feeling the warmth in the belly and closing the eyes softly. Finding moments to thank our body. Thank you for all your hard work. And when you've said your thank you, we're going to take a shavasana on the side of our body today. Allow yourself to fall to the left side. So that way you are lying down with your knees gently bent. Your left arm over your head today. And your other arm just natural where it feels good. We're going to stay on the side of the body. Because the left side is the part that reinforces the liver. It's such an important organ when it comes to detoxifying. We want to be able to eliminate those toxins that are holding us back. And as we fall on this side, our liver is able to have a moment of rest. It is able to recharge for the day. It works so hard every day. This can be an amazing way to rest after a heavy meal. If you are feeling blocked or constipated. If you have bloating, gas or tummy aches, just take a couple of minutes sleeping on your left side. And your mind can let go. And you can just breathe. Enjoying this moment in Shavasana. This moment of deep healing and deep relaxation. Your mind 
body and soul recharging This is a beautiful moment just for you. If you're starting to feel ready to wake up, use your toes, your fingers, and prepare your body in your seated position. Hands gently on the knees, eyes closed. And just feel the effects here. You have done so much today. Be proud of yourself. As you lift those arms up to the sky, take a big breath in, knowing that you are unblocked. You are free. Exhaling hands into prayer and taking a bend into Namaste.